All right, Steve. The light sprinkle coming through. Just wanted to do the walk around in the car. Here she is. Top still perfect shape. It was brand new, replaced, vinyl. I'll get those stickers off the window before it leaves. Looks like there is a small ding on the trim here on the running board. Pretty much dent free, scratch free. By the way, today is Sunday, day before the shipper is picking up the car. Sides clean, nothing noticeable on the uh, running board. Windshield is chip scratch free, it was brand new. The hood, trim, emblem, all nice, brand new, polished. Okay, there's the outside. show a shot of the interior. Driver door. Just wanted to let you know these windows seem a little rough to go up and down but they're all brand new rubber, brand new felt so it's just gonna be that way until they get broken in. Quarter windows as well. A little tip on the quarter windows. Have them down when you're putting the top up and then latching it down which is done this way there's a little I'm sorry let's get in here let me show you so there's a button right here on both latches you push that button to release the hook do that on both sides one latch on each side and then the top smoothly opens up here I'll go ahead and demo that got another latch they latch back in place just like that once they're unhooked step out pull the top up and it opens so yeah the tip is just to keep roll down these windows just a little bit when you're if you're having a hard time because all this rubber as well is brand brand new so it's got to get broken in, I guess. You know, it's just really tight fit, but I think it's better to have it a tight fit than a loose fit and have air and water leaking. But that's the top, the cover for the top. Once uh, the top is all the way down, here, you know, I'll go ahead and demo that too. Here's the dash. Showing 17,103.6. So once you put the top down, you'll notice that back here underneath this flap. So this, I'll mention here in a minute again, is where the cover itself slides into. So when you have the cover going over the top, it only goes on one way, but you can wrap the top around each corner like that. And then to get it, it's 
so you can clip these tabs. This tab right here goes all the way there. You want to wrap this corner section here all the way over and push it down. And then you'll have another tab. This one goes on the inside, snaps down to here. And sometimes to get that to line up all the way, you'll have to just, you'll have to push this whole cover forward. And to get that to go forward is make sure this part goes up underneath in between the, the wrinkles there, the flaps. I'm sure uh, you'll be able to get the hang of it. It's pretty simple. Might even just leave the top down all the time. Sunny Florida. So yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, back seats all in great shape. To fold down the back seat, there's a lever right here. Just pull that. And the back seat folds forward. Um, I believe if you absolutely needed the space, you can fold this all the way down. I'm not sure if you can do it with the seat bottom in or not. But yeah, it folds all the way down. Latches right back in. Great, great. Passenger side, looks great. Door jam, it's all pretty. You got new caps in there. Again, all new rubber. So these windows, some of them are a little easier than the others, but once those get broken in, everything will be real nice and easy. These wing windows, I don't open them. It's just these the way they're designed, I think it's a poor design. And getting it closed back up, it takes time. They just don't they don't they don't close back up as easy. You gotta like manipulate the rubber to get it to line up again and sealed. Um Glove box, here we go. So, this is how you open your trunk. The front trunk. You pull down this lever here. I'm sure you know about these bugs. You've had them before. Trunk is opened. Pull the latch. All nice and new. One thing I don't have for this car is the wrench. To loosen the lug nuts I don't think I have it I have the tool the hook tool that's made for the for the jack that lets you jack the car up and lower it down but you can see wiring covers in you know everything is really nice inside never really used for anything besides just looking since I've since I've had it done <laughs> that gotta gotta push down a little bit to get it to latch all the way um the mirrors i will leave them folded in the way you unfold them is there's this little nut right here on the bottom you want to be careful kind of push down this molding before you loosen it enough to well they're actually loose but to tighten them down after so the so these don't move around anymore you'll want to tighten this guy up and just enough to where you can still adjust it when it needs to be adjusted. But I'll leave those folded in for now. And here we go. I will uh, here, take this cover off. Put it back in the, in the back seat. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sorry. The plate stays in Oregon. I love that plate. Vintage plate. But yeah, so, like I said, 17,000 miles on the clock. It's not actual mileage. That's just what the car had when I restored it and drove it. I had around 16, 500 or something or so miles. So, it's about it. Got about 600 miles on it since I've restored it. I have the picture from before. Ashtray, if you're a smoker, it's rust free. And uh, yeah, emergency lights. All the emergency lights work.
Headlight, you know the headlights, you know how they work. This guy right here, it's not exactly, it's not hooked up to tell you what it's supposed to do. It's kind of a weird little thing. I haven't looked too much into it. I just know that it turns on when I push the button. Um, but yeah, here, let's give, let's give it a whirl, a little crank over. So the thing is with these motors, with this motor in particular, when it's cold, uh, it's got an automatic choke. So let me go back here and I'll just show you what goes on here. I'm sure you know, if you don't, I'm just doing this for, to help you out. So if you see that little stepped thingy, when you push that guy, well, as you can see, it's sitting on the top step right there, the throttle, that little cylinder. So that is choked all the way. So it keeps the throttle open so you can start the car more easily when it's cold. As it warms up, there's a heating element inside there. Right back on this side. And that will turn that to where when it's warmed up, you'll be sitting all the way on that bottom step. And uh, that's that's the way it's supposed to be until it warms up. So it's, uh, it's great that it has that. It's a cool little innovative thing that is Germans did. Um, but yeah, um, everything's good up in here. It's got the generator set up, not the alternator. Also got the, uh, one thing that wasn't in the pictures when I had it posted was the tubes that go from the rain catch. And that's just the, the catch to keep water from raining down on the engine. It diverts it down to the bottom where there's, there's holes there and it can drain out away from the motor. But yeah, here, I'll leave this open. And it might take a little bit to crank over a couple times, but it's because it hasn't started in about, I'd say about a month. Let's see how it does. Ooh, quick little spark there. That was, that was quick, that was nice. So as, I'm not sure if you could hear me over the noise, but the, uh, the motor is pretty revved up and it's because it's got that that final step on the uh, on the choke so it'll run you'll want to run it at higher rpms like this so it'll warm up quicker and um, at that point it uh, gets hot and then uh, after a few minutes you'll notice the motor will start to sound a little different and you'll know it's warmed up when it, the sound changes and um, at that point you just hit the throttle and it'll release the stepper on the on the carburetor and let it idle down to a normal idling point so I'm gonna go ahead and let it idle warm up you might hear a difference in the, uh, the smoothness of the, of the engine but yeah. The bumper itself right now, it has actually, it, it appears that it's not, you're not able to mount license plates, but it is already drilled behind the strip. You can see the imprint to be able to mount the front plate on it. There you go. That's all it takes. Just one little, just touch the uh, accelerator, and it'll it'll drop down to that normal RPM, which is around between 750 and 900 RPMs running. But yeah, sounds really good. It's got a nice, you know, classic Volkswagen. It doesn't whistle like the old Volkswagens do with the original exhaust kits, but. I think it sounds great. Driving it around is, is a blast. Again, just like the front, you've got to push down on that latch a little bit and it'll latch the rear. And that's it. I'm gonna miss it. I hope you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I know you will. You got the 
weather on that side of the country to take this thing out and show it off. And uh, yeah, have a great time with it, Steve. I really appreciate uh, just your your time and working and um, being in contact throughout this little process. Hopefully it's gonna get to you quicker and safely. I'd rather have it get there a little slower and all in one piece, no issues. But there it is. Thank you.